Final week of regular season play in Super Rugby Pacific and tonight the ACT Brumbies are looking to shore up a top four finish while their opponents, the Melbourne Rebels, are chasing victory to sneak inside the top eight. Got the new advantage there. So the Five advantage here. There's a great ball from Deverson. He'll wait for Corey. Two! Too quick. And the Brumbies. Over the scoring. Couple of nice plays from the Brummies to get across the advantage line. And look at the draw it back and flushes it through. Hardwick. Kellaway to Gibbon. Advantage. Hands past the ball, not supporting body weight. Hammers through the Rebels' first points. Canham has made some big turnovers. Gibbon for Carter. Gordon! Gordon goes through. And the Rebels go in front. Carter Gordon, he touched the ball about five times in that play. He went to the left side, then back to the right. And he demands the ball. Icky Tau trying to drive his way through. Takes two Advantage. defenders to stop him. The Rebels come through the breakdown. Anderson penalised though. Wilkin comes in and gets hands on. And I think Lockie Anderson might be headed for the bin. Not rolling. In fact, it'll be Reese Hodge who gets nailed for not rolling. Balotini picks and goes and hammers in Angus Gardner and almost crosses the line on the other side. McInerney, he's sure. He was on the line. Gus Gardner gives him the tick with a second shot. Now they'll check this one, but that's important from the Brumbies. Had the overlap. It's Angus Gardner that makes a tackle on Rob Valentini almost oh, first base. You know, I'm happy. He was, on, he was on the ground and he moved out. No issues. Kemeny. Stay on. Both sides exhausted. Lawrence has had enough, and they will go to the sheds in Canberra. Down by four, but very much hey, uh, in seven. the fight. Mate, against done a great job tonight. the Brumbies. At the turn, the score is 14 points to 10. But to go out the bat, Eusta, Gordon, that's a good quick ball Gordon. away, but they can't Vantage. hang on through Pinkers and Tom Wright, and Gordon will settle down for a race down the left. Infield for Tool, Tool to Debra City, Debra City for Ikitao, looking for the switch play here, wants Wright, sends it out the back, it's there for Wright, Wright, still going! With the finish, they've taken it, the distance, that's a try from the Brums. Brumbies get to six phases for the first time tonight. Sapsford takes it on the inside for Mickey Tau and extends the lead. Oh, it's too easy for Ollie Sapsford. But a big worry for Australian rugby in back play. Nick Frost went down really awkwardly when he fell about two rucks before. Go, 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 go! Yeah. Out, trying to rip his side over the line. They're across the chalk. Can they get it down, though? They can. Tuttle. Gordon looking to align his runners. Cannon was short. Cannon can't hang on. And Sapsford comes away with it. Debrasini says, just keep going. Now Jack has to... Dive in and pick it up. Lonigan for Muirhead. Muirhead 
bounces in field and scores the final try. Another length of the field try for the Brumbies. And both of them off mistakes for the Melbourne Rebels trying to push the pass. Frost still playing, I don't know how. And the Brumbies finish the regular season with an important win. They've locked up a spot in the top four. They will host a quarter-final next week. Too good for the Rebels as their season comes to an end. The score here in Canberra, the Brumbies 33, the Rebels 17.